wanted to ask you a little bit about where you see your role in the market. We're seeing a lot of innovation in the solar, uh, in solar and in the lighting yep. space, yep. Um, which, which is great, right? Yep. And especially in Africa, especially to reach these off-grid places. Um, and we're seeing some companies really competitively come in yep. um, at low prices to make solar available for households. Maybe it's you know certainly not as much energy as a typical household is going to use here in the U.S., yep. but enough to provide light for a, yep. uh, for a home that didn't yep. have it before. Yep. So where do you see your role in, in this marketplace? Well, first of all, it's a huge marketplace. Uh, 1.2 billion people who have no connectivity at all. Uh, on top of that, there's a billion people who have officially are connected, but it's and not reliable so the market is tremendously large and there's an, and there's only a few percent of penetration with all these companies that are out there so it's still basically a blue ocean so the, our main competitor we see is the kerosene lamp still and the candle and the battery powered torch that is what we are competing with so I think in order to kind of um, break the barrier uh, we need, you need to realize what it is that the customer can afford and in what increments they can actually pay that. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they, we see a lot of uh, initiatives out there that are trying to reduce the price of a product mm -hmm. to the lowest possible price point so that people, when they have a few dollars in their pocket, they can spend it on an, a specific mm -hmm. product. So it's very price driven. And that means that quality suffers from that. And that's very unfortunate because it, it means that there's a lot of product out there that will break down after a few months, after a year. Which causes a lot of problems for the overall market. If, if people are used to having unreliable products, they're going to say, why would I spend my money on that? It creates a lot of problems. So first of all, the reliability, the name that solar has in the market, mm -hmm. and people will not trust solar so mm -hmm. much more. It, will, it creates garbage, um, um, but also it's more expensive. If you need to buy a solar lamp every six months, it's, in the end, it's a lot more expensive than buying a quality product. So we've chosen from the start to make a, a, a quality product, which we could also sell to Western consumers. That has been the idea from the beginning, because we we wouldn't we didn't want to distinguish into what quality is right for which market. We believe that everybody has the right to the, the best type of quality mm -hmm. that the, the West basically has to offer. So that's where we did things differently. But the challenge, of course, is that it's it's not cheap. So we don't compete on price. Uh, so the challenge for us has been how do we find ways to make this product more affordable? So it's durable, it will, you know, it, it will work for years. So in that respect, it's, it's less expensive over the course of a lifetime. Uh, but you need to find a way to mitigate the, 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 the initial cost. And we've done that with a model in, uh, in Rwanda. So a microfinance, a microfinance uh, uh, model, basically, where on the Waka Waka we have added a keypad basically mm -hmm. uh, so people buy scratch cards mm -hmm. they punch in the scratch card code uh, plus the uh, unique number of the unit they send it by their through their mobile phones mm -hmm. to text based number mm -hmm. they get an activation code punch it in and the unit will work for a whole week at 75 mm -hmm. cents per week and in Rwanda that's roughly the price level of kerosene and candles mm -hmm. that people spend every week yeah. so now all of a sudden they uh, they can afford an $80 product which is what the price is at apple.com, for example, mm -hmm. at 75 cents per week. And I think that is where more companies should focus on, on payment schedules and try to tap into what people have in their pockets, what can they pay, yeah. but do not jeopardize the quality, please. On the model and not on the product. Exactly. Yeah. Innovating do, yeah. around the business yeah. models. You could uh, certainly see that as being useful perhaps in a small store or, or yeah. somewhere like that. Yeah, it's a... It's, uh, it's a micro entrepreneur kit, yeah, yeah. if you will. People can charge all kind of USB gear or their mm -hmm. phones. So you can charge maybe 10 candy bar phones on, mm -hmm. on one day of soda charge. Yeah. I mean, that's an income. Yeah. I mean, people can double their income just with this unit.